Hello, ASEA family. I'm super happy to be with you today and share with you the three stages of network marketing. My husband, Bob, and I live in Idaho. And when I was a little girl, I had a dream. I wanted to grow up and be like my Aunt Pat, whom I'm named after. She was a missionary in Brazil. I used to be her pen pal, and my big dream was that someday I would grow up and be like my aunt and travel to faraway lands and do important things that really helped people around the world. But I never got a chance to do that. In 1980, I married my husband, Bob. My husband, Bob, has an engineering degree from Johns Hopkins University. He develops and patented equipment for the semiconductor industry. He had a good job. We lived in a nice home. I have a high school education and I was happy to stay home and take care of our three children. And if anyone looked at us, they would have thought probably that we had the American dream. And we did, except for one thing. I had some issues with my health for a number of years. I had tried all types of uh, Western solutions. Nothing had worked for me. And in 1993, someone introduced me to a product from another network marketing company, not ASEA, because of course ASEA didn't exist back then. And that product started to help me. It was then that I started to realize that our health is our real wealth. And I started to learn about the global censorship of health information. The fact that the multi-billion dollar pharmaceutical companies lobby governments around the world to make laws that are favorable to them, yet unfavorable to any type of natural health solution. I started to learn that the most effective wellness products in the world typically would not be referred by your doctor. They typically would not be found in a pharmacy. That our job as network marketers was very simple to tell the truth about health products that can help people. And I realized in 1993 that my dream of changing lives, like my Aunt Pat, could come true with network marketing. I also started to attend some meetings and I started to learn about the business aspect of network marketing, that a network marketing business could allow me to experience the benefits of being an entrepreneur but I didn't have to take on the risks of a traditional business. I didn't have to have employees. I didn't have to take out a bank loan. And I went to a meeting and I saw this famous quote from JP Getty. I'd rather earn 1% of the efforts of 100 people rather than 100% of my own efforts. And how do we do this? By building a team. Find a few people who want to work for an hour or more every day. They find other people. They find other people. And you can actually earn in a day what most people earn in a week and even beyond that. The first time I saw this concept, I thought about the family that I was raised in. My mom and dad are sitting in the front with glasses. I'm the lovely teenager sitting in the, standing in the back with glasses. And my parents have eight children. In this picture, there are seven of us. My parents worked full time. My father worked during the day. At night, my mother would go out and waitress. Like me, she also has a high school education. And even though my parents worked very hard, they felt like they didn't have enough money for eight children. So my father bought and sold used boats out of our backyard, and my mother turned our garage into a used clothing store. And if my parents got sick, or if they took a holiday, the income stopped. Why? Because everything depended on them. Frequently, when I was a little girl, I would wake up at night and I would hear my parents arguing. And it was always for the same reason. There wasn't enough money. So when I started to understand this concept of building a team, I said to myself, I will make a living while making a difference. I will tell everyone that I meet and everyone that I know about my product and my company. Some people will not understand. Some people will judge me. Some people will judge network marketing. But if I keep on telling people, I know that I will find people like me who believe that it is their mission and their purpose in life to share an incredible 
health technology, as well as an incredible financial opportunity with the world. So in 1993, I started my first network marketing business with my first company. And my first year, I didn't make a lot of money. I was earning while I was learning. At the end of my second year, I was starting to make a decent full-time income. After four years, we went diamond. And of course, that's a nice six-figure income. And after seven years, we became one of the top 10 global earners in our company. Best of all, every dollar that we earned represented people whose lives were being changed by our products, as well as by our business, as well as by the opportunity to wake up every day and feel alive and dedicated to a purpose greater than oneself. The first eight years with our first company, everything went well. The next seven years, things started to fall apart. And what I realized is that in network marketing, you don't only need a great product, you also need a great company that really knows how to manage and grow a company. Also at that time, we were experiencing personal investment challenges. Even though we had earned a very nice income, we had invested in some commercial real estate at the wrong time, and we were left with a huge bank loan, but no one to lease our spaces. So in 2007, we made the difficult decision to leave our first company, and I went out searching for a new company. I spent a year and a half looking for a new company. I call it wandering in the desert. I was searching for a home, searching for something that I could believe in. During that year and a half, I joined five different companies only to find that they were not the company that I could give my whole heart to. I almost gave up. I almost thought I would have to just spend the rest of my life being a waitress like my mother. But fortunately, in 2009, someone told me about redox signaling technology. This incredible technology, completely different from anything the world had ever seen before, something that could not be copied. I was starting to hear about meaningful, incredible, miraculous results, and I realized that with this one-of-a-kind technology, that there was a unique and powerful business opportunity. I actually had the opportunity to go to Salt Lake City in December of 2009. I heard the ASEA story from Virtus Norton, our founder himself, and tears rolled down Virtus's eyes as he told me about how he had had an opportunity to sell redox signaling technology to a pharmaceutical company, but had turned down the offer and had made a decision to come out of retirement and bring ASEA to the world. At that time, my husband and I promised our founders that we would do our very best to help them take ASEA around the world. And that is what we have done for the past 10 years. We have put all the energy that we can muster, all of the talents that we have, every ounce of our being we have put into doing the best we can to share ASEA with the world. So we are very, very grateful for this incredible, for this incredible opportunity that we've been able to be a part of for the past 10 years. We've been blessed with great success, but I would like to tell you today that overnight success usually is preceded by years of hard work. And that is certainly the, the way it was for us. So I'd like to take you back to 1993, my first year in network marketing. I was so excited when I joined my first company, but guess what? I got, got my kit in the mail and just like you, I realized that no people came in my kit. So what did I do? I decided to learn while I earned and to put into action some simple strategies for success. I read a book called Being the Best You Can Be in MLM. My sponsor told me that leaders are readers. And by reading this book, I was able to really distill my why and my burning desire to be like my Aunt Pat. I also read 
The Business School for People Who Like Helping Other People by Robert Kiyosaki. Robert Kiyosaki says that in order to be successful in any business, you have to transform yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. I took this advice very seriously and immediately started doing personal growth activities on a daily basis. And of course, this could be the subject of another one and a half hour uh, webinar. So I won't be going into that in detail right now. I read a book called Double Your Contacts. Now, I'm not a person who reads an entire book. I read a chapter at a time uh, or maybe even a page at a time. And I take one sentence that makes sense to me and I put it into action every day. What I learned in this book is that I needed to add at least one person to my list every day. And I needed to take at least one person off my list every day. And by taking them off my list, that meant that I would contact them, share my, my story with them. And then of course they would go into my follow-up list at that point. This was another very important book for me, How I Raised Myself from Failure to Success by Frank Betcher. Again, one sentence in this book absolutely changed my life. Frank Betcher says, share your story sincerely with three or four people every single day. You know, sometimes we make network marketing so complex, but it's really quite simple. This is all I have done for the past years since 1993. Share my story sincerely with three or four people every single day, just like I'm doing in this webinar. And all of us have our ASEA story. All of us have a powerful reason why we joined ASEA and why we are dedicated to this great company. It is your job to distill your story, perhaps even make a slideshow so that you can move people emotionally when you share the good news of ASEA with them. <clears throat> I learned the simple A-lift concepts, have a great attitude, add to your list every day, invite people to learn about your product and your company, do good follow-up and teach your team to do the same. I promise you that since 1993, the only thing I have done to build my business is to follow the simple A-lift system on a consistent basis. I learned how to go wide. This means it's our job to personally sponsor as many people as we can and to understand that not all of them are gonna become builders. So we need to continue sponsoring to find those who not only say they're gonna build in the SIA business, but who actually do build in the SIA business. I also learned about the concept of going deep. What this means is that some people are builders but a lot of people are just connectors. That means we need to work with our people, but we also need to work through our people so that we can ultimately find builders in depth, maybe even three, four, five, six, or even more levels in depth. I learned the rhythm of the business. I did not learn this from any book. I learned it by doing it. I learned the importance of consistent daily activities. I learned the power of having some type of weekly event. Back in those days, of course, it was in people's living rooms, but now we have the wonderful world of Zoom. I learned to do monthly trainings for my people. And then I learned by doing it, the importance of attending regional events. And of course, the uh, incredible annual conventions. And I learned the importance of promoting these events to my team, because the more people on your team that attend any of these events, the better your team is gonna be equipped to grow. I learned the simple concept, SWSWSW. What does that mean? Some will, some won't. So what? I will. Somewhere, someone's waiting, so wow. Oh my goodness. In 1993, I was waiting, I was searching, I was praying for an answer to some health challenges I had had for a long time. In 2009, when I found ASEA, I was waiting, I was searching, 
I was looking for an opportunity that could take us to where we wanted to be in our life. So you guys, the moral of this story is there are people out there waiting. They are looking, they are searching. Just like all of you, you were looking for something in your life. That's why you joined ASEA. What you're gonna find in your search is that some people are not gonna take time to review the tool. That happens to all of us. Some people are not going to show up at the presentation even though they told you that they would. Some people will go into the witness protection program. They will not show up for the follow-up appointment. They will not answer your text. They will not answer when you try to call them back. Some people will just write out, say, no, thank you. But what I find is that most people don't say no, thank you. They simply kind of drift away a lot of times during the follow-up process. Has that ever happened to you? I'm sure it has. Some people will say, oh my goodness, is, that, is this one of those pyramids? Other people can't think for themselves. They have to say, well, I have to ask my doctor. Other people have a scarcity consciousness. Before you even tell them what it is, they say, well, how much does it cost? I probably can't afford it. And some people say, well, I have to do more research. They don't realize the incredible research that ASEA has already done on our, our incredible redox signaling molecules. But guess what, you guys? Here's the moral of the story. If you keep on going, if you keep on sharing, if you keep on adding to your list, if you keep on sharing your story sincerely with three or four people every single day, guess what? You are going to find some people who say yes, just like I did, just like you did, just like we all did. So back in 1993, my team started to grow little by little. It didn't grow really fast. And after one year of concerted effort, after all the work I had done, my team wasn't very big and oh my gosh, I wasn't rich yet. I wasn't even able to make what I considered a decent income with all of the work that I had done. I was in a very deep place. I thought about quitting. I thought, is this all worth it? I hear about people's dreams coming true, but my dreams don't seem like they're coming true very fast at all. So at that point, what did I do? I did what any sane network marketer would do. I called my sponsor. I had a very wise sponsor. I will forever be grateful for my original sponsor in my original company. My sponsor taught me the three stages of network marketing and what he taught me absolutely changed my life. And the reason that I'm here today is to share this information with you. My sponsor taught me that a traditional business is very similar in the beginning stages to a network marketing company. What happens typically in a small business is people invest time and they invest money. And in the beginning, they're not earning very much out of all of that. Now in network marketing, the beauty is we don't have to invest a lot of money, but we, do, we are working. And at first it seems like we're getting a small return for all of the effort that we put in. My sponsor explains that that happens to almost every small business. In fact, the average small business in North America takes five years to cash flow. So my sponsor explained to me that after a period of time, if a small business owner continues to work consistently, they will enter stage two, which is similar to what happens in network marketing. If we continue to be consistent and we continue to learn and to put the things that we learn into action, at some point we can work a little bit less and we'll be making a better income for the time and energy that we're investing. And then my sponsor explained to me, the incredible stage three of network marketing, which does not exist in traditional business for the average person. And this is when your team is growing and you can put in less effort 
and you are getting paid for the efforts of others way beyond the time and effort that you are personally investing. Well, my parents were small business owners. I understood this. My parents worked for decades, putting in a lot of time and never getting very much return from all of their efforts. So understanding the three stages of network marketing gave me the knowledge and the strength to stay focused and keep working. And that truly was a day that changed my life. So how long should you try? Well, Jim Rohn, one of North America's foremost business philosophers, now deceased, says that you should try until, until when? Until it happens for you. My sponsor taught me that you can work your network marketing business part-time, you can work it full-time, but what most people in network marketing do is they work it sometimes. Things you do sometimes are called hobbies. Hobbies usually don't make you money. They actually typically cost you money. So most people, he explained, never get out of stage one. Why? They get tired. They get discouraged. They get depressed. They may get distracted. They start managing their small team instead of adding to their list every day and taking people off their list every day by inviting them. They take a week off and sometimes this turns into a month or more. They watch the AIR, the automatic income reducer, otherwise known as the television set. They stop plugging into conference calls and events. They decide, well, I'm gonna join a get rich thing. Uh, I'm sure I can make more money there, right? So this happens to many people in our industry. They stay in our company. They still keep coming to some meetings and things like that, but they're not really focused. They're not really doing the activities that it takes to really get into stage two and stage three of network marketing. So the knowledge of the three stages of network marketing helped me to get off of the emotional roller coaster. And I started taking even more advantage of the three powers of the universe. The first power of the universe is consistency. The second power of the universe is consistency. And the third power of the universe is consistency. This is a very simple concept that's very easy to understand. We don't brush our teeth seven times at the end of the week. We brush our teeth every day. Why? Because we want the results of that daily consistency. So after my sponsor explained to me the three stages of network marketing, I became even more focused. I became even more dedicated. I became even more consistent. And then about a year later, the most amazing thing happened to me. I was in a taxi. Of course, I had to share my product and my opportunity with the taxi driver. He was not interested, but he gave me the phone number of his sister. And he said that she liked health and she liked business. I called that woman. She was not very happy to hear from me in the beginning. I followed up diligently for four months and the woman ended up joining my organization. She grew very fast. She actually became the fastest female ever to the highest rank in that company. And what that taught me is that the power of consistency, that the universe responds when it knows that you're not kidding. And it gave me the confidence that if I could do this once, I could do it again. Not because I had any great knowledge, not because I was, you know, a better person than anyone else, simply by continuing these simple strategies uh, that took me there in the first place. So, our future, all of our futures depend on the choices that we make. We have freedom of choice. With ASEA, we can have better health, we can have better wealth, or we can have both. The moral of the story, the bottom line, is don't quibble with the price. 
where will you be in five years? Most people like me, my first year in network marketing, I overestimated where I would be in one year, but I underestimated where I would be in five years, working my business diligently, consistently, using the simple proven uh, techniques for success. So here we all are all today with our incredible ASEA company. We truly know that there is nothing better than making a living while making a difference with our incredible, amazing molecules. ASEA truly is changing the world one cell at a time. And I am here to end this presentation and to tell you that you absolutely can change your life with ASEA and the lives of tens of people, maybe hundreds of people, maybe thousands or even tens of thousands of people around this beautiful globe of ours. Thank you, it was a pleasure to be with you and have a great ASEA day. So I hope you enjoyed learning about the three stages of network marketing. I hope that it has an impact on your life and your business the way it did for mine many years ago. Thank you very much for attending and please have yourself a great ASEA day.